Coming off turn number four, side by side, wheel to wheel. Bond outside, Bozak inside. Bozak will lead him as they come up the spike stand, but here comes the 007 on the outside. Big old wide racetrack. Bond's going to use that high side at his advantage as he goes into turn number three, coming off turn number four. Bozak low, Bond high, and here comes Matthew Lance as he will settle into that third spot with the 75 of Smith in the fourth spot. As we go through turn number one, Bond slips up. That's going to open the door for Bozak. Bozak and he'll be side by side. Bozak will take over that top spot as we go into turn number three. As we come off turn number four, down the front straightaway, Austin Bozak, that young man out of Trenton, Missouri, he will lead that lap. As we go through turn number one, coming off turn number two, lean, green, and mean is the way we like it here at US 36 Raceway. Dancing around a little bit as we're three wide. Contact between car number one, Arcade Richards, and the 33 of Jason Moran. Here comes Ainsworth as he is in the mix, but up front. Everybody chasing that car number 14 of Austin Bozak. Manly Lamar up, barely into the wall, gets it back under control as he will start trying to chase down the 71 of Ron Morant. But Bozak starting to pull it away now as he has got about a five, six car link lead on the 007 of Bond. And here comes Matthew Lance in the 75 of Randy Smith Jr. doing battle as yellow caution on the racetrack. Debris in turn four, we understand. Debris in turn four flag racing off turn number four it's the 14 austin bozak with the lead a good start for him side by side action between the 75 of dandy randy smith and that 12x of matthew lightning lance lance up on the high side but dandy randy smith gonna hold on to that number two spot right there down to the inside as he's looking for more onto the inside of the 14 austin bozak it's bozak smith lance Christopherson and Lamar running out your top five. Bozak out front as he has got two car link lead. The car number 75 and the 12 still battling as they go for second and third. The battle now is for fourth and fifth as we got uh, Johnny Christopherson in that car number 55 being the 4M of Lamar. Lamar will pick up that fourth spot as they come to the flag stand into one. Off the track goes car number 71 of Ron Moran as we stay green flag racing. It's the 14, Austin Bozak with the lead. 75, Dandy, Randy Smith right there in that number two spot. The 12X, Matthew Lightning, Lance running three. Last week's feature winner, the 4M of Manly Lamar right there in fourth. And the 55B of John, John Christopherson. Here's Johnny rounding out the top five. As they go into turn number three, coming off turn number four, Bozak setting a blister in pace in that car number 14B. As he comes by the flag stand, can he win this feature here tonight? Randy Smith and Matthew Lance giving chase as they go down the back straightaway. As they go through turn number three, off of turn number four, looks like Smith is going to try that high line now. That opens the door for uh, Lance on the inside, and we got a battle for the lead as we go through turn number one, coming off turn number two. Bozak will hold on that lead as he goes into turn number one. Good run for the 14B here tonight as the laps start winding down here in the E-modified feature at U.S. 36 Raceway. Again, Randy Smith runs second, but he's got company. 12X of Matthew Lance runs in that third spot, but everybody chasing that 14B of Matthew Lance, of uh, Austin Bozak as we come off turn number four. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Caution yellow, yellow. on the racetrack. One Arcade Richards involved, 20X of Carson Mason involved. Problems in turn number one and two. Looking at three laps to the side, a green, a white, and a checker. Four. Down the front straightaway, Austin Bozak's going to lead them. As he heads into turn number one, coming off turn number two, Bozak jumps around. That's going to open the door for Smith. Smith dies on the inside down the back straightaway. We're going to be side by side as we go into turn number three. Coming off turn number four, we are wheel to wheel. As they come down the front straightaway, a little bit of rubbing as they come by. Bozak will hang on to that lead as he takes the white flag. As they go through turn number one, off of turn number two, the battle now is for second spot. Smith going to try to mount one more challenge, unable to get it done. As they come through turn number three, off of turn number four, picking up the feature win, driving car number 14B, Austin Bozak. Second place, driving car number 75X, Randy Smith Jr. Third place, car number 12X of Matthew Lance. Then comes the 4M of Manly Lamar and the 55B of John Christofferson. Collect your winnings. Again, it's the 174499, a red ticket. We're going to go ahead and get ready to send it trackside to Pops for a very happy victory lane for the E-modified feature winner, card number 14 of Austin Bozak. Race
out of the car. Let's give him a big round. Driving car number 14B, Austin Bozak. Race fans, what a job he done behind the wheel of that car, number 14B. He held off all challengers last four, two weeks ago's feature winner. He held him off in victory lane in that car, number 14B, with his family down here, Austin Bozak. I tell you what, the hounds were at the door, but what a job you done behind the wheel of that 14B. Great job, young man, a wheel in this race car. Thank you. I'd like to thank Cameron Engines, Bradley Burke, Clint Christie, One Shot Design. Uh, I'd like to thank Anna Dios for bringing the car over tonight. i like to thank RDR Race Cars. I think that's about it. I tell you what, great job behind the wheel. Young man, you way beyond your years out there in a race car. And I understand we're going to see you again tonight in that B Modified. So, race fans, we could see him again here in a B Modified in Victory Lane at US 36 Raceway. Let's give him another big round of applause in Victory Lane, Austin Bozak. Back up, top talent. Thank you. That's fine. I'm just passing. Yeah, no. Uh, you know? Yeah. As the green comes out, here we go through turn number one, off of turn number two for sale on the inside. Five of Kyle Rowland's got that car out front, but here comes Atkins. Atkins looking for room in that car number 15. As we go into turn number three, off of turn number four. Atkins going to try to thread the needle as Rowland's got that car out front. We are good to go down the front straightaway into one. It's all car number five, organic warehouse on the side. Kyle Rowland right in the middle of the track, car number 15. Justin Atkins looking for a way around as he's going to follow suit down the back straightaway. 87 of Anthony Purcell running third and the 91 of C.J. Turner. Rounding out your top four as the yellow flag comes out. Out onto the racetrack for car number 14 of Isaiah Cortez. 84. As the green flag comes out, Kyle Rowland going to lead them by the flag stand as we head into turn number one. Coming off turn number two, Rowland is still going to lead them. Here comes Atkins. He is going to look on the inside of Cletus Murray right on his back bumper. A battle for the lead as we head into turn number three. As we come off turn number four, new leader to Flagstand this time by Josh Atkins in car number 15 takes over the point as we head into turn number one. As we come off turn number two, the 15 of Atkins on the high side, rolling on the low side. Atkins will get that car out front. Three, four car lengths now for car number 15. Justin Atkins pulling away now as he has got a big lead on rolling, but here comes Murray as he and Roland are going to be doing battle for second, third. Murray on the high side, rolling on the low side. For sale, falls back to that fourth spot in the 69er. Tyler Cadwalder winds up in that fifth spot. Up front, car number 15. He's got that car on the high side, working good as the B5 of George Bruni. Takes a little shortcut through the infield. He will gather it back up, pull back out on it through agricultural racing. But up front, everybody's chasing that 15 of Atkins as Atkins going to lead them through turn number three. As they come off turn number four, down the front straightaway, Atkins still going to lead them in car number 15. As we head through turn number one, off of turn number two, the 15 still out front. Good run tonight for Justin Atkins in that car 15, working for him tonight. Justin Atkins, he has got about a two-car length lead on the 21M. Murray starting to close in. His lap traffic going to come into play as the laps start winding down here in the pure stock feature at US 36 Raceway. Murray in the 21M. Darrell Witt's Garage, sponsor on that race car, and the 15 of Atkins still showing the way. But here comes Murray looking on the inside. We're going to have a battle shaping up the lead as we head into turn number one. Coming off turn number two, Atkins still leading, but here comes Murray. Murray going to dive that car low. Atkins stuck on the high side. Lap car coming into play as we come down the front straightaway. No, no he's not. It's just a header. He's okay in the B5. Again, Murray, now he is your leader. Here comes Atkins back on the inside. A little bit of bumper tag between these two as they're side by side, wheel to wheel. Lap car coming into place. We'll come down the front straightaway. Murray will lead that lap. Murray into the lap cars. We'll go down the back straightaway. Contact between he and Brooding, and here comes the 15 Atkins. Atkins trying to get by the lap car, and here comes rolling on the high side as he will now pick up the race for that second spot. 
Murray gets that car out front. 21M of the Mudcat Murray. He is out front as he has got a big lead now to turn number one off of turn number two. Now on the back straightaway, Atkins still runs in that second spot. The battle now is for third and fourth as for sale on the inside. Rolling on the outside. White flag in the air one more time around for the 21M of the Mudcat, Cletus Murray. As we come off turn number two, down the back straightaway, Cletus Murray is still going to lead them. Checker flag in Huey Jacobs' hand as we go through turn number four. Give him a big round of applause, picking up that checker flag to 21 in with the Mudcat, Cletus Murray. Second place, car number 15 of Justin Atkins. Third place, car number 87 of Anthony Purcell. Fourth place, car number 69 of Tyler Cadwall. And fifth. The 17i of Colton Ishmael. Head down track side for on track interviews. Limited on the side, TNB trucking. We give him a big round of applause to Mudcat Cletus Murray. Honey, we will. I am too. Hi there. For race fans, as he kneels down, getting his picture taken, always good with the kids, always giving back to the fans. Cletus Murray here in Victory Lane at U.S. 36 Raceway, second victory of the year here at U.S. 36. Again, Judy State of Photography taking all these great pictures. Be sure to see her. You can find her on Shutterfly. You can also find her on Facebook. Judy State of Photography taking the pictures here at U.S. 36 Raceway. Mudcat, you flopped around again. How do you say it? You flopped around and found Victory Lane again. Nice job behind the wheel of 21M. I'm glad to be down here. The first night I got a, the guy got a DQ. Let's get up here where we work. Come on. We'll make sure. Tonight the microphone didn't work, so this is the third time, so I finally get to come up here. I'm glad my family's here. Glad all the kids are here. All the kids can come down, sign the hood. I got a bunch of signatures on there already. So, uh, you know, it's just... Uh, Track was really good tonight, really good. Always a class act. Race fans, let's hear it one more time in victory lane for the Mudcat, Cletus Murray. Front row, green flag in the air from Flagman Huey. Great start by the front row, side-by-side -side action going into turns number one and two. It's Munson on the high side, 14 of Bozak right there. Here comes the 07 of Dangerous Dan. Daniel Harris right there up to three and strong rounding out your top five. Here comes 211 of Tim Eaton drifting it down on the inside as we stay green flag racing off of four. As it go through turn number one, off of turn number two, a little bit of jump and bounce. That's going to open the door for Bozak as he goes it back up. Munson will hang on that lead, and here comes Strong. Him and Daniel Harris side by side for that third and fourth spot as we come off four. Great move by the 14 of Bozak right there. Off turn number four, down to the inside of the 19X, the Magic Man, Josh Munson. It's Munson at the point. Bozak up to second. Harris third, Strong fourth. And the 211 of Tim Eaton rounding out your top five. 17T is Shadron Turner on the outside looking in. Here comes Doug. Doug Keller making a move off of four, getting past two cars with one move. Keller putting that car number seven up to place number seven as everybody's still chasing the 19 of the Magic Man, Josh Munson. Monty Cook, he follows through in that car number 64. K as he will settle in behind Keller, but up front, everybody chasing that car number 19 of Josh Munson, the magic man trying to work his magic to my night in that car number 19 as Bozak and Harris battle for second and third. Off track, car number 33, Nitro Nicholas Carpenter, he's going to pull that car all around, goes your second place competitor. That was the 14 of Austin Bozak as he loops it and turns number three and four. It looks like everybody going to get around him. As we come down the front straightaway, good start that time by Tim Eaton in that 211 as he will dive that car on the inside of the 19 of Munson as Munson will keep it up on the top side as Eaton will challenge for the lead into turn number three. A little bit of a congestion back there towards the back of the pack as we stay green flag racing. 211 of Tim Eaton with a slide job off of four, taking over that number one spot. Contact off of four, 66X of Chris Wright facing the wrong way in a one way as the yellow flag comes out onto the racing surface. Also off the track goes car number 14 of Sean Strong. It's a good start by car number 211 of Tim Eaton, the 07 of Daniel Harris right there in that number two spot, but he's got company up on his high side, the magic man, Josh Munson, making the magic work tonight as he's going to pull alongside down the back straightaway. It's 211 of Eaton, 07 of Harris. 
with the 17T of Shadron. Turner, a little contact between the 15B of Beshin and the 7 of Keller as they're all piled up. Coming out of turn number four, the 47 of Big Cat, Tyson Lamferman, dead to the water right there on the exit of turn number four. Also. To 11 of Tim Eaton with a great start that time as he is into turn number one, coming off turn number two. Daniel Harris looking on the inside, got that car working as Shadron Turner takes over that third spot as he is starting to run down the leaders in that car number 17T. Again, 211 of Eaton, he's got that car out front. Budget home repair flying in that car number 211. Can he make it two in a row? That is Tim Eaton in car number 211. It's the 211 of Tim Eaton going into turns number three and four. 07 of Daniel Harris and the 17T of Shadron Turner right there in number two and three as the 3X of old T-Dog Tony Manley down to the inside. Oh, three cars getting together over there in turns number three and four. You have the 9M of Manley of Derek Mahoney, the 22 of Dilly Bob, Dylan Newdorf. That's the 20 involved. On the gas heavy out of four. Great start by the 211 of Tim Eaton as he's already pulled away. Two, three car length lead over the 07 of Harris. Harris, though, driving it down deep to the inside. It's Eaton, Harris, Turner, Munson. And Keller rounding out your top five. Here comes the 07 of Daniel Harris down to the inside. 211 of Tim Eaton letting it hang up on the high side. High side prevails going into one and two. Harris making that low line work as he had that car in the wind. Almost able to pull off. Not quite clearing him. He has to settle back into that second spot. But up front, everybody chasing Eaton. And here comes Turner. And how about Doug Keller finding his way to the front? Three races in the books here at US 36 Raceway for the B Modifieds. And two of the th three of the four Let's do that again. Top three of the four former winners here at US 36. You have the 211 of Eaton, 07 of Harris, 17 Tia Turner with a 7 of Doug Keller. And the 19 of Munson rounding out your top five men on the move. Keep an eye on that 96 of Cody the Thrill Brill as he makes his way to the front. Everybody's still chasing that 211 of Tim Eaton. Tony Manley trying to make his way back to the front in that car number 3X. And over the bank goes Wes Bastion. Contact between him and Munson sends that car number 15 of Bastion over the berm. As the yellow flag comes out onto the racing surface for 15B of Wes Bastion. As time, it's a good start by the top three. Here comes the 17T of Shadron Turner looking down to the inside of the 07 of Daniel Harris. Don't count out. Old big race Doug, a Doug Keller as car number 20, it looks like. As 3X of Tony Manley goes down to the inside, it looks like he's going to stay right there. 211 of Tim Eaton, our leader. 07 of Harris, second. 17T of Shadron Turner is your third place car with Doug Keller in that car number seven, running fourth. Racing Jason S is now cracking into the top five as the 211 of Tim Eaton riding around right in the middle as the white flag comes out one more time around to determine the winner. It's Eaton, Harris, Turner, Keller. And Estes rounding out your top five. Everybody chasing that 211 of Tim Eaton. It's Tim Eaton going through turns number three and four. Take us home, Pops. As we come off turn number four, he will be looking at the checkered flag for the second week in a row. Give him a big round of applause. Your feature winner, the 211 of Tim Eaton. Second place, car number 07 of Daniel Harris. Third place, 17T of Shadron Turner. Fourth place, car number seven of Doug Keller and car number 20 of racing. Jason Estes rounding out your top five here tonight. Number 211 of Tim Eaton. Making it two weeks in a row down here in Victory Lane at the High Banks US 36 Raceway. You did it again, Timmy. Congratulations on your feature win. We talked about it earlier. I deserve a hug, man. I don't care how sweaty you are. I deserve a hug. Two weeks in a row, you find yourself down here in Victory Lane <laughs> as you get water dumped all over you, a little victory celebration, a victory shower, if you will. Daring move coming off turns number three and four, a little slide job action for the race fans here. Walk me through that feature, maybe some of the sponsors that one more fast hot rod out here for you in the USRA B Modifieds. First off, I got to thank all the guys that work at the shop. Uh, Jason and Skyler, they got this thing ready for me to roll this week. Uh, we have all of our kids, and we like bringing the kids to the races with us, and I couldn't do it without these guys. My parents, uh, Napa Auto and Race in St. Joe, Collision Repair Specialist, uh, IROC Race Cars, and I just want to thank all you fans for coming out and uh, supporting what we love to do for a living. 
All right, let's give him another big round of applause, race fans. He's your feature winner. It's car number 211, Tim Eaton. Race fans, I'm going to go ahead and the tracks. Smooth to Pops. Pops.